Welcome back to Tame Slide Info. The most awaited decision, which every one of us were waiting for, would be taken by the Indian Navy by end of March 2023 or by mid of April 2023. The decision which I am talking about is nothing but to decide which fighter would get a chance to operate from the aircraft carriers of India. To be more precise, the Indian Navy will decide whether it would be 26 Boeing F-18 Super Hornet or Dassault Aviation Rafale M fighters for both INS Vikramaditya and INS Vikrant aircraft carriers. These 26 fighters would fill an immediate requirement of the shortage of fighters for the Indian Navy until the twin-engine deck-based fighters are inducted by them. Initially, the Ministry of Defence issued a request for information for procuring 57 deck-based fighters, which was subsequently reduced to 26 fighters. Out of 26, 8 would be twin-seater trainer variant and 18 would be single-seater variants. Both France and the United States have put all required efforts in order to secure this particular contract for equipping India's aircraft carrier fighters deal and this was done by the visits of the French and the American delegations to India. According to me, the Indian Navy would go for Rafale M for two reasons. First reason is about 70% commonality with the 36 Rafale fighters which the Indian Air Force is operating. So maintenance wise, if both Indian Navy and the Indian Air Force have similar fighters, it would save a lot of time, money and effort. The second reason is due to the recent news from Boeing about closing down the production of F-18 fighters by 2025 after nearly 40 years of production run. And this decision was taken by Boeing due to lack of further orders from the export market. So let's wait and see which fighter is finally selected by the Indian Navy for their aircraft carriers. I'll keep uploading more videos about this particular contract whenever I get to know latest happenings. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned to Tainslade Info for more defense and aviation related updates. Thank you.